Welcome back to Grown Kids TV with myself, Mike, and Lindsay. And on Tuesdays, we'll be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing what's called Top 10 Tell Us Tuesdays. And today's topic is ad icons. See more about what we're talking about coming up. Just like we said before the intro, today's video is a Top 10 Tell Us Tuesday. And there are three steps to that. Number one, we tell you guys about our top 10 in something, whether it's a character, whether it's a line, whether it's even a totally different collectible. Step two is tell us, where you guys tell us about your favorite from that line, maybe that character that you have or that you want. Because you guys know a lot about us, we want to learn more about you guys. Yep. And step three, it's on a Tuesday. Pretty simple steps because we're simple. Yeah. And because we haven't done this before, we'll talk a little bit more about it. Pretty much this one, we're doing ad icons. Mm -hmm. So we take our top 10 ad icons and we're going to work our way through it, starting at number 10, moving on to number one. And with this one, we actually have a lot. So what we're going to do is pretty much, this is going to be a combo, like top 10 characters that are ad icons. Yeah. Uh, because each one is going to have multiple. And you'll see what we're talking about as we come up. But the main idea for this is we want to show off a little bit of our collection. We get a lot of questions about our collection. And we really want to learn about your guys' collections. Yeah. Let's get started. Oh, before we get started. Oh, before we get started. Before we get started, here's our Patreon plug. And for this video, we're only going to do some benefits. We're not going to talk about Patreon of the day. We save those for our Funko Pop Mystery Box days. Yep. One of the benefits of our Patreon is Patreon prizes. And our second place prize is this chomp. And this is the reverse cotton candy. We love this one. It's so gorgeous. We have our own version, a little bit yep. off camera. Yep. And our main prize is a surprise mystery Freddy Funko. There's nothing in here. This one's empty, but we have a mystery Freddy actually on the way to the house right we now. Do. That we got specifically for this Patreon prize. And if you guys want to know other Patreon perks, then check it out. We have this as well as Patreon of the Day, as well as exclusive lives, as well as sneak peeks, all that sorts of stuff. Uh, but no further delay, let's jump in today's Top 10 Tell Us Tuesday video. If you guys like these video ideas, then hit the like button down below. Boop it. Boop it. And if you want to leave a comment as you're going through this video on maybe which ad icons you like, or which ad icon is your favorite in your own collection, mm -hmm. or what might be your personal grail ad icon that you're looking forward to getting. And first, number 10. Mr. Owl. I've got my Mr. Owl shirt on, and by my Mr. Owl shirt, I mean it's just one that we thrifted and it's really big. Um, but it's cute, and all the time I say, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? Let's find out. One, a two, a three. Three. And that one's really cute. We saw this one show up, and I don't remember where we got it. It might have been in a mystery box very early on. But I'm pretty sure this is a Funko Shop exclusive. Without a sticker. Without a sticker, but yeah. that's okay because this is our personal collection and we love this guy and like Lindsay says, she's quoting him all the time. I don't know why, I can't stop. Stuff like, you know, and the world may never know. And the world may never know. All the time. It might be our favorite commercial of all time. <laughs> but that's the Tootsie Roll ad icon, Mr. Owl. I don't know, Liberty Biberty is a pretty good commercial. Yeah, that's, that just, that's starting to catch on now. Number nine is Cap'n Crunch. I really, really like this cosmic glow in the dark pop. And we got that in a mystery box, right? We got a mystery box. We didn't know much about it. We went and looked up the YouTube video of the commercial it came from. Yep. And it was pretty cool and it was funny and we've never seen it before. Uh, the actual old cereal would make the milk turn green. Oh, thank you. And with this, you see the Captain Crunch soda. We don't have the Chase. No, that would be cool. But I really actually like this one, I think, more than the Chase. The like, Chase is just black and white for this yeah, one. Yeah, it's like grayscale. Yeah. Uh, this one's really awesome because a couple things. One, it was Funko Shop exclusive. Yep. It was a 4,000 piece, I think. Somewhere around there. So that's a pretty crazy low number. Yeah. And I really just genuinely like it because you know that's how i recognize captain crunch look how happy he is and he's got his sword we got to get some more captain crunch pops yeah like uh crunchberry beast is pretty cute yeah it's pretty funny so that was number nine captain crunch number nine number eight jeffrey the giraffe 
What's really cool about these, Lindsay? Uh, it's dressed as Superman and Batman, and we got them from What the Data About Today. Yeah, we got them from What the Data About You Today, and that's really cool because these are Toys R Us, and they're the Canadian exclusives. They are. So inside the R on Toys R Us is the little maple leaf. It's so cute. I didn't even notice that right at first, and I was like, oh my gosh. Even on the box, not just the sticker. These are amazing. We love them. Yeah, we love them. And it's Jeffrey the giraffe. And one of Lindsay's favorite animals is a giraffe. Yeah. Lately, she's been adding a lot to our favorite animals. I have a lot of favorite animals. I got sea lions, giraffes, red pandas, sloths. <laughs> Number seven. Trix Rabbit. These are both Funko Shop exclusive, and they're both right around Grail status. Yeah. Trix non-flocked is really close, and Trix flocked is like $185. One of my favorite things about the Trix Rabbit is the eyebrows. I do like his eyebrows. If you look, they're just like two little black boxes sitting on top of his head. That's so cute. I love the side of the box yeah. because who doesn't love a big old bowl of Trix cereal? It's been a long time since I've had Trix cereal, actually. I'm sorry. I failed you, Trix Rabbit. Number six, Lucky the Leprechaun. Woo! Oh, you got one backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you did that on purpose. All right, now Lucky is one of my favorites because Lucky Charms is possibly over my entire life my favorite cereal. I have some ones I like now a little bit more, but over my entire life, that's what I got in the Navy all the time, before the Navy, but now it's like the treat that you would get. But here is Lucky Leprechaun. Number two, my favorite, because this is one of my Christmas gifts or birthday gifts from Lindsay. My birthday is a week away from Christmas, so it so all is the same thing. Yeah. Number three. Toddler Lucky is the best mystery mini ever, in my opinion. Uh, yes, 100%. And when I told him that it was like a toddler, he was like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, because toddlers are just holding a spoon with one hand. We've talked about this before. And the other hand just randomly has food in it and is going like this. Toddlers. Ta-da. And, and then the last one, like we said, not everything has to be a Funko product in this. This is actually like a mystery mini from cereals, GM cereals. Yeah. We got Lucky Charms cereal box and it came with Lucky inside it. Mm -hmm. There's a couple other cute ones like this. I think the other cutest is the little cinnamon toast crunch guy. <gasps> that one's so cute. So that was number six, Lucky the Leprechaun. You've seen this recently. Number five, Toucan Sam. Now I can't remember where we got Toucan Sam non-metallic from. I don't remember. It might have been I like a Pop King Paul box or something. I know it was a mystery box. We're really excited about it. And then recently, as you guys saw, we got Metallic Toucan Sam from a Gem Pops. And that is one of the greatest and most expensive pops that we have. Yep. Number four is near and dear to our heart. Now, I personally like the ad icon, but if you were to ask me to just make a list of top 10 ad icons, I wouldn't have put these guys as high as we did, but the story behind it was worth it for us. Number four is our Fry Kids, Smy Kids. Smy Kids, Smy Kids. Now there's a couple of cool reasons why I picked this as number four. Number one, McDonald's is where I worked. It's my first real job. And actually it was my last real job that I got before my current job. Fry Kids are awesome and I love them growing up. Yep. And then, of course, Smy World sent this over to us as one of the best gifts we've ever received. And this is the Smy Kids original 1 out of 24 piece. And that's why it's number four on our top 10 so ad funny. icons. Number three! Rawr! Number three. So we've broken to the top three of ad icons. Number three is... Booberry! Now, one of the reasons we only have two Booberries here is because he's not only one of our favorites, he's a lot of people's favorites. It's also why we have the OG Booberry out of box. But just to let you guys know, I have the soda on the way. Not the Chase, but I have I the wish. Common on the way. And my favorite part about this Funko Shop exclusive with the ones eating the cereal bowls is the cereal is like this bright purple. It's really cool. Yeah, and it's purple, and it's got little bits of marshmallows in it. Yeah, that's, I really like this. Uh, now, obviously, if we get, like, Freddy Funko, Boo Berry Glow or something, that's worth, like, a, a bajillion dollars, that would be amazing. But we are actually pretty happy with these. And PPG on these 
Surprisingly, this guy's PPG right now is $70. Wow. This guy's PPG in box, obviously not out of box, yeah. is $340. That's crazy. But we love Booberry. Uh-huh, uh-huh. He's we, very cute. We love his color a lot. I think that's a big one. And I'm, I might be trying to get his watch when it hits the stores. Oh, absolutely. Now that you know number three, you might be able to guess number two. Number two is Count Chocula. Here's our first 10 inch ad icon. Also, our first Chase Soda ad icon. So let's move the 10 inch to get a better look at the other ones. So the count here, the new Funko Shop ones, not the OG ones, yeah. is $48. That's PPG. pretty decent, yeah. Yeah, so if you guys want some of these like ad icon ones, these ones with cereal bowls are still worth good money, but not like Crazy. totally unable to buy. Yeah. And then, speaking of unable to buy, thank goodness we got this guy out of a actual soda hunt that we found at... Think Geek. At Think Geek. We got both the regular and the Chase. Mm -hmm. And at Chase, the PPG is 180 and they're selling over that. It's ridiculous, these soda chases. But... For good reason. Yeah, because look at how pretty he is. That color, the reason he's a Chase in that color is because... He's Booberry inspired. Booberry inspired, and I thought that was a crazy great idea. Genius. So we start all the way at number 10, working our way through our favorite ad icon characters, and now we're down to number one. And if you've seen number three and you've seen number two, you can probably guess who number one is. But let's show them off. One, two, three. Frankenberry. We have so much Frankenberry stuff. And there's a whole number of reasons that we picked Frankenberry. One, because he's cute. Two, because he's cute. Three, because he's cute. And because of that, we have a lot of them. And not only a lot of Frankenberry, but across a bunch of different Funko products. For example, we have the three-pack Dorbs. Super cute! We're going to show this off with Booberry because we only had two Booberry things. However, the box is pink. Yeah, Which so is pretty much Frankenberry. It's basically all Frankenberry inside. And we didn't want to give away for anybody who didn't know number two and number one were going to be when we got to Blueberry. That's fair. We have this 10 inch. Which is one of our favorite 10 inch Funko Pops. Yeah, it really is. I mean, I don't know. Grogu's pretty cute. We have the little cereal bowl Frankenberry. That one's cute because he's eating his own cereal. Then we have the OG Frankenberry out of box because it's expensive. Yeah, that's $200 in box and we had to try to save some money. I was trying to buy all three for Lindsay for Christmas and I couldn't afford all of them in box. And I ended up getting two out of box. Still yeah. need to get the count. That's right, we do. Eventually we'll get the count. We have Frankenberry Soda, the common. We don't have the chase of that, but that would be cool. We've got this little mystery mini, and he looks like a toddler too. I don't know if that's just what they were going with for the mystery minis. Like with Lucky, he looks like a toddler. Oh, but that's really cute. Over here we have another Dorbs, and this is Frankenberry in his ride. It and glows in the dark. Yeah, glows in the dark. I'm pretty sure just Frankenberry glows in the dark. I think you're right. I think it's just him. But it's really cool looking, and there's such a sparkly paint job on the strawberry little truck. So cute. Which also looks like Frankenberry. Yeah. And has a Frankenberry license plate. Frankenberry. And then most recently, we got this Frankenberry Freddy Funko Hikari Custom by Smyworld and Rombits. Mm-hmm. And that's a one of one and it is gorgeous. It actually looks like the same color scheme as the new Smyworld at Icon, of course, drop with Fred Flintstone and Barney with their matching colors. Lindsay's upset because I didn't get it. No, uh, well, yeah, but like I already knew we weren't going to because I was like, it's $300, that's too expensive. It was like $315, and I was like, that's a lot of monies. It is. Let's spend it on mystery boxes instead. Somebody's gonna get it, and I hope they show it off on YouTube so I can see how beautiful it is. Yeah, we'd like to see that. So there you have it. This is our first top 10 Tell Us Tuesday where we show off a top 10 collection. In this case, it was ad icon characters. And then you guys tell us about different ad icons that you like, your favorite in your own collection, or what you're really hoping for. The one we're really hoping to get, and obviously all of them, but our main number one pick right now is the Metallic Frankenberry. 
that's like, that's like, I wish, but like, probably won't get it. I don't know. Maybe eventually. Maybe out of some great mystery box. Thank you, Smy World, for making amazing Smy Originals. Thank you to Funko for so many amazing Ad Icon products. And thank you guys for watching. This is Grown Kids TV. We'll see you later.